So, you've been thinking about selling your home in this current market condition. Should you price your home to sell fast and receive multiple offers? Or price it to shoot for the stars and, and be the highest price home in the neighborhood and hope you get it. But the problem here may be, if you're selling your home, you still have to find a replacement home. And that's the question I am being asked quite a bit lately. So all the videos right now and all the real estate agents are just advertising right now is the best time to buy ever. So I thought I would talk a little bit about what's it like to sell your home in this market and have to replace it too. Okay, here we have a two bedroom, one bath, 1,037 square foot. Now it was originally listed at 749,000 and it closed at $812,500 at only nine days on the market. Selling a home right now is crazy and it is a lot different. Now I've been involved in real estate in some form or another for the past 20 years. I was an appraiser, a builder, I worked with developers, a lot of different things. I've never seen the market like this. I was just talking to a friend of mine who's just been selling real estate for the last 20 years and he has never ever seen it like this for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's really in the seller's favor. This is truly a seller's market. So when you go to sell your home, it should be a very nice and easy experience for you. And in most cases, that's exactly what it is. So let's get into those cases that aren't so fantastic. Now, just because this market is a seller's market and everybody thinks that you sell your house and oh my God, they've got so much money. They just hit the freaking lottery. Well, that's definitely how it can be, but the majority of the sellers out there do need to find a replacement home to purchase. So your deal is going just awesome on one side, but you go to the other side and it could get a little tricky, a little sticky, and a little messy. And that's what this video is about. And that's just not here in Long Beach or in Southern California, that is nationwide. And basically that all comes back down to simple supply and demand. There is simply not enough properties out there to meet the buyer's demands. Now, on the other hand, people are also thinking, um, well, after last year, how come inventory is still low? People got laid off, businesses were closed. Uh, we went through the worst crap ever imaginable. How is inventory still low? So that's why this market is so crazy. And another question I am getting asked a lot. And well, it basically comes down to after the crash in 2018, we had a huge oversupply of inventory. So limitations were put into place to limit the amount of properties that a home builder can purchase, which started to kick off the supply issue around 2011, 2012. And then with the population growing, the issue has only gotten worse. With the interest rates being so low right now, and they are just incredibly low, people are adding on to their homes instead of selling their home to move up. Now we have multi-generational families where uh, you, they graduate college and they get married and they move back in with mom and dad and grandma and grandpa and they buy a house all together. And also people are converting their garages to ADUs for additional income. Uh, I did do a video on that right here if you wanna know more about additional dwelling units. And what this means is less homes on the market as they're finding more ways to make space on the homes that they already have. Now, the families that were forced to work at home last year and the kids had to go to school at home, got the dogs barking, it's probably hard to get stuff done and people realized we need a bigger place. So people are now buying in more affordable areas or even out of state, creating a strain on the inventory across the nation. So you take that with the extremely low interest rates and this is giving people the opportunity to get back into the real estate market who had pretty much given up on it and also allowing people to move or upgrade their homes due to the lower home payment, which all goes back to the low interest rate. Fun fact for you, 
when the interest rate clicks up 1%, as a home buyer, that will lessen your buying power by 11 to 12%. Just food for thought for you. So, what's it like to sell a home now? Well, it's definitely in the seller's favor. You will be in complete control, and you can use that in the negotiations. You will get your price if priced correct, because yes, you still have to do that. Now, as I said earlier, people are just assuming right now that you put your house on the market and all of a sudden, bam, huge sums of, ma of money automatically appear into your account. But you know, not if you need to buy another home. So on the one hand, you're gonna have this awesome, great experience. And on the other hand, it could get tricky, could get sticky, it could get messy, and it just might not be all lollipops and gumdrops, but it'll get you through. Now, what I mean by that, as a home buyer, there's just not a lot of inventory out there. Here in Long Beach right now, we have a one 0.3 months supply of inventory. Now, just so you know, so that it's a healthy, happy, neutral market, you need a six month supply. So obviously it's in the seller's favor. You're gonna be up against multiple offers and you've already had to bid above asking price on homes and you've lost out on them. It's just really a tough process right now. So the selling site is gonna go pretty easy peasy in most cases because you know you are getting more money for your home. And the buyers right now, they are willing to do stuff that they would never ever even consider before just to make this deal happen so they can get into a home. So if you are a seller, you are gonna have to deal with both of these aspects. Whether you wanna leave California, go to another state, or just upgrade here. Pricing! Now normally when I sit down with my clients at their dining room table and we start talking about pricing, I ask them what they would like to get out of their home. And then I explain to them about my beliefs about pricing the home just below market value to expose your home to more buyers. And then we, we always settle on a price because the customer is always right and that customer gets what they want. And we're really usually never that far off. So in this market, what I'm gonna be doing is encouraging my clients just to list their home at market value for the neighborhood. Not to price it a little bit low, because sometimes when the market is not supporting it, what you ask for is what you get. And just remember, the list price is just a starting point. But definitely do not price it to try to set the record in the neighborhood. People know the value, they will see the value. So don't assume that just because the home down the street from you sold for $600,000, that your home is worth 625 when all the comps are showing it to be right around $550,000. Like I said, people will see the value and the list price is just a starting point. So pricing it correctly is still crucial. So if you are truly considering selling your home, this really is a great time to sell your home. When you drive around your neighborhood, look for the lack of for sale signs on the home. That's your competition, none. And like I said earlier, we have a 1.3 month supply of inventory. And right now we have so many qualified buyers competing for homes. And the only reason why Days on Market is at eight here in Long Beach, because you gotta have time to review all those offers. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below and I will answer them there. If you'd like to know what your home is worth to see if this is a great option for you or not, go ahead and give me a call, shoot me a text, send an email, or just register on my website. All my information is down below and I will personally reach out to you so we can discuss your real estate goals. Until next time.